Welcome back to the channel everybody. To get this project started I'm going to first trim the end of this board off because it's got a significant split in it and I don't need that causing me any problems later. I started with the handsaw but decided to speed things up with a jigsaw, which of course the battery promptly died. I've had this piece on my lumber rack for a long time and it's nice to finally use it. I think the guy I bought it from said it was pecan or hickory, but I don't recall for sure. Next at the joiner, I took a whole bunch of passes on the one end to knock off the extra width compared to the rest of the board. My goal here is just to get a straight edge that I can reference off the table saw fence. At the table saw, I'll trim the other side to get my final width of about 10 and a half inches. The stock had quite a few knot holes and other defects, so I mixed up some five minute epoxy to fill those in. I also added a little bit of dark brown paint so that it would blend in with the color of the knots. It took a few applications to get everything filled in properly. Now, even though this is five minute epoxy, I gave it a couple of days to make sure it was completely cured all the way through before moving on to the planer. Since this is just gonna be a single long shelf, it was not really critical that it be perfectly flat. So I just skip planed it by taking light passes and flipping the board over each time until I had the surface smooth and in a uniform thickness. After planing, I marked and cut one end square. I'm using this piece of three quarter inch plywood as a guide to establish a straight cut. Then I'll remove the plywood and finish the cut. With one end square, I measured my final length and cut the other end using the same method. And now we're on to every woodworker's favorite activity. I ended up having to apply a little bit more epoxy in a few spots, so I started off with 60 grit to knock down the epoxy, and then moved on to 80, 150, and 220 grit. And finally, I applied the finish. This is boiled linseed oil, and it really brings out the grain and the character of the wood. And while we watch the oil work its magic, now is a great time to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future projects. Okay, these are the mounting brackets I used for my shelf. Uh, I picked these up on Amazon. Pretty inexpensive. Um, they came in a pack of six. I only used three. Um, so, pretty beefy. They're 3 16th inch steel. Um, they have different sizes. These are about seven and three quarters long, uh, an inch and a half wide. Um, you, can, you can mount them this way with your shelf on top, which is what I did. So my shelf is actually right against the wall. And you can't really even see this bracket underneath unless you really look underneath the shelf looking for it. Uh, the other option would be to mount them this way, have your shelf, shelf sitting on top, and then you would kind of see that bracket uh, if that's the look you're going for. So I'll leave a link to these in the description if you're interested. Um, but worked pretty well for me. Here are a few pictures of the final result. I think it turned out really nice, and I love the color and all the character in this board. It adds a nice pop of contrast to the room as well. Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Thanks for following along and we'll see you on the next project.